Hi guys, so today is a very special day because I'm going to be inking two Kaveco pens. Um, one of which I bought and one of which was a friend a friend gave to me as a present, which is very special to me. Um, as you can see on the left, there are a lot of ink swatches that I've already done. Um, they, this is kind of like a not my official swatch video that'll come later, so these swatches actually are just tests. So that's why I'm placing my ink bottle on them because I'm uneducated and <laughs> I, I uh, make mistakes, so it's okay. So the Sailor Manyo Neko Yanagi and the Colorverse Brunch Date are two inks that are already in my pens. So I'm going to be taking those out of the pens and putting the excess ink back into the bottle. So I don't know if this is best practice, but I, I do this because I don't want to waste any ink that I've already like haven't used. So this is the Neko Yanagi in my, oh my gosh, my hands look so bad. <laughs> the ne Neko Yanagi in the, um, Kaweco limited edition. I, th I think it's lilac. I'm not sure, but I went ahead and squeezed the excess ink into the back into the bottle. And we're going to be doing the same thing for the Colorverse Brunch Date. These two inks are really nice. It's not that I don't like them because they're they're really good. They're just really light. And I have this tendency lately to pick like really light inks. And as you can see from the side swatches that I did, I kind of ordered some more bright ones. So we'll, I'm going to be doing a Goulet Pens order video soon. So you'll see everything that I ordered. This is, these swatches aren't even everything that I ordered. So that's pretty cool. Got a lot to do. So much to do. So much to see. Oh, you know. All right. So this Kaweco Sport has Colorverse brunch date in it. One of my favorite inks actually. Um, I had said before it's kind of like a blood color <laughs> but it's just a very like soft color. It's a very soft pink brown so it's really nice. So I took the excess out here and yeah we're gonna go ahead and flush these pens out. That's um, what I'm planning on doing next. So you'll see that too, that process. Okay, so this is the flushing process. I'm using distilled water as I was told and knocking things over, that's fine. Um, I also was told to you put it, a water in a glass container, that way the ink doesn't stick to any like ceramic or anything like that. So glass container, I'm using a uh, mini mason jar that I got at Walmart because I live at Walmart. <laughs> um, so I have one syringe. Um, I do have multiple syringes, but this time I just used one because I didn't want to dirty any extra ones and I flushed it in between with water. So this one's the color verse. As you can see, there's some ink left in the converter. And I'm going to be using the bulb syringe to rinse out the nib and the feed. And then I'm going to be using a, the ink syringe filled with water to rinse out the converter. So we sped through that a little bit, so you didn't have to wait for me to do it. <laughs> and I did the same thing with the lilac one as well. And as you can see, there are some ink remnants in the converter. So we are going to go ahead and rinse that out with some distilled water. And then the bulb with my feed and nib. This was a pretty easy process. Um, I felt that it was necessary. So it was something that I needed to do, obviously, for the cleanliness of the pens and to not cross-contaminate. 
but it wasn't hard. It wasn't difficult. So, alrighty. So now we're going to actually put the ink in, which is fun. This is the fun part. <laughs> so I chose Sailor Chikiori Fuji Sagata, which is a lovely purple. I chose this for my purple pen because I wanted it to match. And I'm having trouble getting the bottle open, which is fine. It's okay. And I'm using the syringe method, which is very easy and it's very satisfying to get the ink in there with a syringe. It's very nice. And I am dropping things. It's fine. <laughs> And it's just, it's just fun to fill up a converter with ink. It's just, there's something about that feeling that just m feels like fresh new ink. It's so nice. It's so pretty. And it's such a smooth process. So I just really, I'm in love with this hobby. I really enjoy doing it. So, okay. So we're setting up the converter now, pushing it, pushing it in and applying the casing, the barrel. And we'll set that to the side. Oh. There we go. And we're going to flush out our syringe with some distilled water um, in between the inks just because I didn't want there to be any contamination in the colors. Um, and I only used one syringe, which is something that in the future I will use a separate syringe for the inks, but in in this case, you can use one syringe. So this one is the Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori, a very pretty pink color. I was really excited because I, when I ordered this, I, um, I was really looking for a good pink, and I picked two pinks. So I picked the Sakura Mori, and I also picked Hana Ikata. So I wanted to kind of see which one would be a, like more suited for me, like a better pink. But I think the Sakura Mori looks really good. So we're going to go ahead and use the syringe method again and squeeze a little bit of that ink into the converter. Very fun. It feels like a science experiment, honestly. <laughs> it feels like I'm, I'm doing science. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> All right. So we'll put the barrel back on. And then... I believe it's time to start testing, but I did want to clean up a little bit, so I think that's what I do here. So I go ahead and flush my syringe. And put the caps on everything to make sure I don't spill anything. I try to be really careful, honestly. It's just, I just, I know it's going to happen. Eventually I'm going to spill some ink and it's going to be really uh, upsetting. So as you can see, they don't write and that's fine because the ink hasn't traveled through the feed yet. Um, one trick that a friend told me to do is to drop the ink through the feed by pressing on the converter. Now, I don't know if this is best practice. Um, the way I do it is as so. But I just, I worry that I'm not doing it right. So if I'm not doing it right, just tell me. <laughs> but I'm pressing a little bit on the converter and letting some ink through. At this time, there's no ink coming through. So I flip the pen to kind of get a better look. And ta-da! Ink comes through on my finger, and that's fine. As you can see, I'm really not a stranger to having ink on my hands, so <laughs> it's fine. It's definitely okay. Okay, so I'll let that one sit for a little bit while we wait. And then I'll do the same thing to the Kaveco Medium nib with the Sakura Mori ink inside. I'll push a little bit on the converter, just a tiny bit, to let some ink go through the 
the nib and through the feed. So just pressing a little, I was able to see the ink come through. So this one that doesn't make a mess, which is really nice. I was like, oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> Finally, something's working in my favor. <laughs> So these should be ready to write, so we're going to go ahead and test them. A little slow to start, but that's okay. And I'm using a Hobonichi notebook. It's not my actual Hobonichi, which is actually underneath the notebook today, because um, I have yet to do my planning. But my Hobonichi notebook is something that was a gift and I use it for ink swatches and for testing my inks and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see that notebook a lot, but I did order a new A6, which is coming on this weekend and I'm really, really excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead and do some writing.
All right, so that is the dual Kaweco um, pen inking session. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.